Hello everyone. Good morning. First of all, a warm welcome to OIC training by Unovids. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate integrations in Oracle Integration Cloud. Okay. So uh, usually in a dev OIC instance, you might build the integration flows required for all the use cases that, that the client might have. And uh, let's say you've built uh, 30 or 40 integrations. And yes, those are tested, uh, tested and and certified as working fine. And the client has asked you to migrate them to a higher instance, probably from dev to SAT or UAT instance. So when you have to migrate integrations from one instance to another, you have two options. You can do it in two ways. You can migrate one integration at a time and you will have to use, uh, uh, you will have to export IAR file from a source instance and you will have to pick it up and load it in a target OIC instance. So you would have created an uh, integration in a source instance, right? So you log into a dev OIC instance, export the integration that you want to migrate. That will generate an IER file. Log into SIT OIC instance or maybe UAT, and you import the IER file that you have exported from the source instance. And when you import the IER file, with just a couple of mouse clicks, you will notice that the entire integration definition gets migrated from dev OIC instance to SAT or UAT OIC instance. And uh, when, you, when you migrate integrations, it's not just the integration that gets migrated, all the underlying components used in the integration will also get migrated. For example, the connections, JavaScript libraries, packages, everything that you use within the integration will also get migrated to the higher instance. And the other approach that you can follow is a, a package. So when you, so what's the downside with the first approach? Yes, you can migrate one integration at a time and, or you can do it with the help of IER files. But what if I have 100 integrations? Do I need to repeat this step 100 times? You don't need to. And for that, uh, for that reason, Oracle has given something called as packages. Okay, so when you create an integration, you will place it in a package. And uh, well before you start creating uh, or building integrations, what packages need to be used will be communicated to you as integration specialist. And say, for example, if you're building uh, integrations related to say ERP cloud and HCM cloud, and say you're building 20 integrations related to ERP and 30 integrations related to HCM cloud. When you build those 50 integrations, uh, uh, when you build those integrations, say for example, 20 HCM integrations, you will place them in HCM package. And when you build those 30 integrations related to ERP cloud, you place them in uh, place them in ERP package. And when it's time to migrate the integrations in bulk, say for example, a client asks you to deploy all the HCM integrations. All you need to do is go, go to the packages tab, search for HCM package, export it, that will generate a PAR file. IAR stands for integration archive. PAR stands for package archive. So these are uh, named more on the lines of JAR file, which stands for Java archive. So this package archive file contains the definition of all the integrations that are part of that package. If there are 20 integrations or 100 integrations that are part of that package, all, all that integration definition will be captured in this PAR file. All you need to do is log into a higher instance and import this PAR file. And when you import it, again, as I said, uh, not just the integrations, but the, all the underlying components of the integration will also get migrated to higher instance. Okay, so we'll explore the first option in this video. And in the next video, I'll show you how to use a package to migrate integrations in bulk. Okay, so let's go to OIC instance. And let's pick an example. Say I've created this uh, you know, Geeks Hello World REST API and I want to migrate this to a higher instance. And I, I just have uh, access to one OIC instance at the moment. Uh, so what I do is I will use this both as source as well as a target. So the first thing that you need to do when you want to migrate an integration from one instance to another instance is export the IE integration from a source OIC instance. So I'm in dev OIC instance now. 
and I have this API, which I want to migrate for integration and click on the menu option and I can click on export. And when I export it, an IAR file gets generated. I can save it. Okay, that IAR file it stands for integration archive and it contains the definition of this REST API. And uh, when uh, in that IAR file, not just the API definition, but all the components that are used in the API, say for example, you have this trigger connection used in the API, right? So that will also be a part of that IAR file. So to replicate this instance as an SID instance, what I'll do is I will delete this API and I will also delete the connection that I have used in this integration. So that way uh, I will not have any reference to this integration or the connection. So, uh, and, and the instance will be as good as an SID or U8 instance. And then we will try to import the IAR file. Okay, so, and, and see how the, how the export and import of IAR file works. So the, the action that we have done just now, you will perform this in the source instance. And to replicate this OIC instance as a target instance, what I'll do is I will deactivate the API because you cannot delete active APIs. I will deactivate it and then I'll delete the API or the integration. And I will also delete the connection. Let's search for a driver. You know, keeps. You know, gigs rest trigger connection. Yeah, let me delete this. This is used in another integration, so I need to I need to uh, delete that integration as well because as long as a connection is used in any other integration, you will not be able to delete them. So I'll go to integrations. I'll search for use a switch integration and I will deactivate it. And then delete the integration. And now I should be able to delete the delete the hello world trigger connection, the rest trigger connection. So this trigger connection was used in the hello world rest API that we have deleted just now. So this instance is as good as a as good as a SAT or U8 instance for me now. And you log into SAT or U8 instance, which will probably look like this with no reference to hello world API. And you use the import option. Search for IAR file. You go to downloads, pick up the IAR file. You know, Geeks Hello World IAR file, and you have two options: import and import and configure. So I'll show you how import and configure works uh, in the next video when we use our packages. Let's just import this one. Let's just use import option in this one. So when I import this, the API got imported into a target instance, and if you go to connections. You will also see that the connection is also imported. The rest trigger connection. We have deleted this, but the connection also got imported when we migrated the integration. But if you if you notice, the connections will be by default in draft status. The expectation is that uh, you will edit the connections and make them point to appropriate environments. Say, for example, here it's a rest trigger connection. It's fine, but if it's an ERP cloud connection, you need to ensure that or you need to make it point to the right ERP cloud environment. So it might be pointing to dev environment. So you might have to point it to SAT or UAT environment. So I can edit the connection, make any changes if required. Probably if it's an SFTP connection, you need to edit the server to make it point to SAT, SFTP server and so on. And then you test the connection. After you test the connection and activate it, you go ahead and activate the integration as well. You can activate the API. So with just a couple of mouse clicks, I could I could export an IAR file and import it into the target instance, edit the connection, activate it, and activate the API. 
So it's that simple to migrate integration from one instance to another instance with the help of IAR file. And in the next video, we'll see how, how you can migrate integrations in bulk with the help of a package. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. In case you are interested in Oracle integration cloud training offered by UnoGeeks, please call us on this number or send a WhatsApp message or, or drop us a note on this email account, info at redunogeeks.com. Thank you.